Hello everyone, welcome to my channel the cloud box and this is the new video inside the Azure Data Engineering. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to discuss very important topic how we can install a Spark on your on our local system. So because why this is important, let's say if you're working on a Databricks, but uh, somehow you do not want to pay some amount or you do not have a community version of Databricks account, but still you want to learn a Spark how to work with a spark so we can set up we can set up all those spark thing in the local system let's say in windows or in linux okay so before installing a spark and before going to start working on a spark we need to set up a few things okay we need to install the java we need to install the python we need to install the spark and we need to install the one hadoop file okay and if you want to work with the one editor, so let's say we are going to install VS code and uh, we need to set up the environment variable kind of stuff. So we'll go one by one. Uh, let's say I'm just going to open the Java. Uh, what we can do if you go to Java link. So there are a couple of Java versions are there. Java 21, Java 17, Java 8 and Java 11. So Spark work with Java 8, Java 11 and Java 17. Okay. So in this, in my system, I have installed the Java one. You can choose any uh, one of them. Simply click on the Java 11, click on the windows and you just install this. So the moment you click, so just make it true and it will ask for the uh, sign in to Oracle account. So the moment you uh, able to, I, I guess I was already in Oracle account. So you would be able to download the Java file. So in a similar fashion, you open this uh, Python URL and you open uh, the Python page. So as of now, you can install the latest version. So simply go to download and you can see the latest version here. So the moment you do a click, it will be able to download the Python installation will be completed. And while installing, just add the one option will be pop up that add to path. Okay. Now we need to install that Spark version. Okay. So let me go to this page and let me uh, type this url and just hit enter so you can see we have latest version for 3.5.1 and it's released in feb 23 uh, 2024 okay so we can choose any of the version so let's say you are uh, choosing this and it will be available for apache hadoop 3.3 or later okay we need to click on this uh, compressed file that is a tzz okay let me choose the older one okay if the moment you do you need to click here and it is going to uh, download this file i have already downloaded so i'll show you apart from that if you see i have already downloaded now what do you need to do you need to install this uh, one more file so uh, before that what i am going to do i have uh, downloaded that uh, zip file what i'll do i'll copy this file i'll go to my c drive here i need to create one folder inside the c drive so what i need to do i need to create a folder inside c drive with name any name you can give so i'm just making a spark okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to c drive i'll create a new folder inside c drive i'll name it spark okay cool in the spark i'll copy that zip file but here i need to unzip it so what i'll do i'll extract it here only and fine now again i'll go to a spark folder and i'll remove this file and for the better thing what I'll do, I'll copy all those files and I'll keep inside the Spark folder only. Okay. Anyway, you can do it. Uh, you can make it inside a subfolder also. So the first step is clear, right? We need to download that uh, TZZ file and you need to create one folder as Spark and you need to and we need to place all the files within a Spark. Cool. Now what we need to do, we need to copy that one vinutils file. Okay. So, if you see, we have downloaded that Spark version for 3. Point, uh, let me show you. It is 3.4. Point. So, we need to download a file we notice that should be equal to this 
or it should be a, at least a lower version okay so we need to open that so what i'll do i'll copy paste that url here i'll make all these things available in the description so you would have a better picture so what you can do you just click on this code and download as a zip okay fine the moment you do that so you can see you will have a compressed folder you can see this is going to create so what you can do you can do unzip and you only need to copy one file so you need to go to the this one 3.3.5 but we have downloaded the spark version 3.4.2 so this vnutils files is lower than that okay file we go to compressed we will go to vnutil master and here we need to copy this inside bin we need to copy this vnutil.exe fine again we need to go to the c drive so we have already created a folder called a spark what we can do we can create a folder called hadoop okay hadoop fine inside hadoop we can create a folder called bin okay we need to create a folder called bin just paste that file winutil.exe so step number two is clear we need to copy this url we need to download the whole file or simply what you can do you can go to this this hadoop folder the latest one and from there what you can do you can download this file you can click it here and you can download it from here okay and after downloading what you need to do you need to go to your c drive inside c you need to create one folder called hadoop inside that you need to create one another folder called bin inside bin you need to keep that vnutils.exe fine so till now we have installed java we installed python we have installed spark and we have installed at vnutils.exe this visual studio code uh, setup will do later now we need to set up the environment variables okay now we need to set up the environment variables okay so somehow if you see this python installation is going to be in a different folder let's say in our case it is inside this let's say i'll go to my c drive i'll go to my users okay in the users i'll go to my name and here we'll see in uh, i guess app data so this app data will be uh, hidden so what you need to do you need to go here view and go to show and click this uh, hidden items okay you need to go to app data in app data we need to go to local okay in the local we need to go to the programs i guess in the programs you can see python installation is there so i have installed two python uh, 3.10 and python 3.12 both the python files are there okay now we need to set up environment variables okay so go to this in the search box and search environment variables okay click on environment variables you can see none of the thing is added here only the python is added the moment you click that add to path so this python file will be added here click on new okay we need to set up a uh, three different paths okay so for first we need to give java home java home okay we need to fetch from the browse director where actually our java is installed so go to this pc go to os go to program files go to java now select jdk 11 if you install java 8 so similar it will come like uh, jdk 1.8 if you install java 17 it will come like jdk hyphen 70 done now in a similar fashion we need to do for a spark home okay so for a spark home we have a spark inside c uh, we have inside this right we need to select this a spark good Similarly, we have created one folder called Hadoop. So we need to give Hadoop home, right? And in a similar way, we need to go to C drive. Uh, and in the C drive, we need to search for Hadoop and just click this. Inside Hadoop, there is a bin, right? All good, right? We have added Hadoop home. We have added Java home. We have added a Spark home. And here we can see one more thing we can see that is Spark. So just edit. And edit what you need to do you need to click on new okay in the new you need to just copy paste this uh, percentage Java 
अंडर स्कोर होम परसेंटेज बैक्सलेस बिन फॉर स्पार्थ एंड हडूप इन अमिलर वे यूनिट टू डू ओके जस्ट क्लिक ओके एवरीथिंग इज गुड क्लोज एवरीथिंग जस्ट गो टू योर कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट ओके जस्ट गो टू कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट यू सी वेदर जावा इज इंस्टॉल्ड और नॉट ओके यू सी जावा इलेवन इज इंस्टॉल्ड राइट सो फॉर द पाइथन यू नीड टू गो टू ऑल द पार्ट एंड यू कैन चेक फॉर पाइथन सो लेट से आई विल टाइप ए स्पार्क शेल सो स्पार्क शेल वॉट इज गोइंग टू डू इट इज गोइंग टू इनेबल द स्पार्क इंजिन ओके सो सेटिंग डिफॉल्ट लॉक टू वन एंड दिस दिस थिंग्स इट इज गोइंग टू डू You can see this one error is coming. I was facing this error so many times. I search on the YouTube everywhere, but in a this error comes very rare. Uh, I have not seen this error for uh, many people, but unfortunately, it was uh, coming for me. So it is uh, very important to note this. So for that reason, I face this error. I am making it easy for you, so you uh, shouldn't face it. So for uh, uh, solving this error, we need to go to environment variables again. okay go to environment variables we need to add one more thing here like we need to add one more uh, variable here that would be a spark local host name uh, a spark local host name okay and in the value we need to give local host okay just okay 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 do exit from here again launch that uh, terminal okay now spark shell again type uh this time this error should be resolved now we can see it is uh, created a spark session and we in successfully installed the spark and the version is 3.4. right and we are in scala cell i mean we are in scala language if you are familiar with scala so you can probably write your code with scala but we are not into scala so what we'll do i will uh, close the terminal okay and what i'll do i'll again open the terminal and from here what i'm going to do i'll simply type python okay it will show the python versions and it will check everything and you will so see this so here we can see 3.4 let me write so you can see we can able to write the python questions and all so let me open uh, so this is done right i guess you would be able to install a spark and everything is working fine now the uh, our thing was we need to set up a uh, id and from there so for you, what you can do you can follow this link and uh, open just install the vs code okay after installing the vs code you choose the windows linux whatever you use just open the vs code just open the vs code and in the vs code also you can see the jupiter environment is there okay kind of the uh, jupiter kind of environment or you what you can do you can simply uh, click a python file and i mean just uh, create a new file and choose a python language from there also you can do so what you can do this is the code right so for before that we need to install the uh basically uh, pyspark so for that what we need to do pip install pyspark okay so if you do that so it is going to install the pyspark in my case it is showing requirement already satisfied okay so if you have pyspark Spark installed in your system. What you can do? Import pyspark from pyspark sql dot import spark session. We need to uh, import and then create a object of spark session. Spark session is a class, so just create object spark sql to spark session dot builder dot master. Here also you can give or this is by default. I mean this thing you can remove also. It will work. Okay. If you run this. if you run this it is going to run and if you see the this thing so you can see spark session in memory spark contest ui spark version 
this is mastered which is basically local and this app name is spark example by example.com i have taken the example from this side okay i guess it is fine and if we see let me open one file if i can see the, if there is one file so i can show you while uh, reading also so let me see whether if i can see any file is there so let's say a sales lt product dot uh, i can let me put inside the one folder here uh, and i'll copy the path sales lt okay so what you can do i can just open this uh, now let's say i'll create a data frame okay a spark dot read dot format and this is a csv right and uh, let me make header oh okay i'll what i'll do i'll make option and uh, header true and in the load i'll give okay let me check if i am able to read it or not okay fine and uh, df dot so if i'll do that we can successfully able to read the data using PySpark library so uh, basically in databricks we used to write a uh, display uh, in uh, Databricks, so we need used to write uh, display, but this will not work here. I mean, it is going to show you the schema, but not the data. So, I guess this video is really helpful while installing a Spark and everything in the local, and you can do the coding with the VS Code. If you really uh, uh, like my video, so let me open my YouTube channel. So please do a favor. Please go ahead and. Uh, uh, subscribe my channel okay so in the uh, in my video i mean uh, here i upload video related to the data engineering okay everything you will uh, going to find like uh, the data factory videos the data uh, bricks video even though i upload video related to how to do a uh, certifications and all so uh, i mean it will be really helpful for you and if you share this video to other people they can also learn a lot thank you so much for watching uh, bye have a wonderful day Thank you so much.